there's still a blood shortage happening across the country. Today, Vitalant Blood Services held a blood drive to try and combat the issue. Twin States News' Jasmine Stevenson takes us onto the donation bus to find out what the outcome could be if the shortage continues. Vitalant Blood Services Representative Nikhil Cooley is an advocate for blood donations. She says since COVID, numbers have dropped almost by half. Pre-COVID, we had donors coming in, three, four hundred in numbers. As of right now, we're seeing that cut into over half now. So a lot of people are not coming out donating blood like they used to because of the fear, of, you know, with COVID. Because of the blood shortage, doctors are having to decide when and who to use blood for. It's sad to say that they're having to make those decisions. I mean, it's kind of like a life or death situation. You may have someone that needs the blood that is that won't you know, to meet their demise at that moment. But then you got somebody that's in the operating room on the table needing the blood right then. And so they have to make the decision as to who's going to get that blood at that point. Cooley says if blood donation numbers don't begin to increase, the outcome could be drastic. It's not going to be a good outcome. I mean, honestly, just to be tr totally transparent, people are going to die. I mean, we got to have those blood donations come in. So that's why each and every day I strive, my team strives, this company strives each and every day to get as many blood donations as we can. And we try to encourage everybody to come out and donate. To find out how you can donate blood, you can visit TwinStates.News. Jasmine Stevenson, Twin States News, Meridian.